So I'm going to show two different videos with two different Apple devices. One being my iPad, which has the most um, up-to-date updates from Apple on it. And one is my phone, which is severely outdated. I, have, I keep refusing the updates on this device. So I'll show you the two different menus that you can use with your phone to get to recording. Now, the first thing I'll say is I do use a tool called Record It. It's an app. Um, they have a free version and a paid version, but it allows me to put things directly on my Google Drive um, in mass video chunks. It allows me to edit them as I need to see fit, resize, or even um, break them into tinier video segments. Um, and it also deals with, I found there's an issue with the sound between the Apple devices and a window device. They record on different channels. So sometimes when you download that video from Google Drive or send it to yourself and you try to play it on a Windows device, the video plays with no sound. And the only way you can get the sound back is to do some post editing, which takes tons of time, or to put it on a, a website like YouTube. So I found that this program um, resolves that issue in, in most cases. How you'll begin is you're gonna to go to your settings menu. You'll go to the control center, customize controls. And what you want is this screen recording and I'll remove it just so you can see it. You wanna make sure that that's in your customized controls menu. So once you've added it, you can exit out. So if you're in a place where you want to record, you just swipe down from the right hand corner of your stream. You just do a little swipe like that. And right now you'll see Zoom is recording the session I'm doing now. So this button is grayed out because the recording feature is actually already being used by syncing with my Zoom drive. But you wanna hold that button down. You don't wanna just click on it, hold it down. I've taken a picture so you can see what you see here. So when I'm holding that button down, all of a sudden this screen recording feature is gonna pop up. And you can choose between photos, and let me get my pen to work. slowly loading it, sorry for the delay there. Um, I just wanna mark it up. That, they made that very difficult. Okay, so you can see I have two options I wanna use. I don't wanna Skype right now, so either photos or record it capture. Now I'm likely to use this, but if you don't have that and you just wanna use your photos, Go ahead and do that. But the one thing to make sure you do, and super important, I have talked to so many teachers that have to re-record everything because they forget to make sure the microphone is on. Once you realize the microphone is on, if that's what you want, go ahead and hit the start recording button and your session will start. All right, now I'm using my very outdated iPhone here. Um, you can see it is full of a bunch of stuff I probably don't need. So if I wanna record, um, from there it, with this own, own menu, instead of swiping from the right-hand corner, and sorry, to go back, we still need to go to settings, to go to the control center, customize controls, and we need to make sure that that screen recording, that one right there, is there. All right, if it's there, I can go from any of my main screens and just swipe like that. And you're gonna see that menu comes up. Now again, um, it's this button right here that I wanna hold down and make sure the microphone is on and then also make sure it's set to the program I want to be doing the recording. I can't do that now because I'm connected to Zoom, but it would be the same directions that you use when you're working that I showed you with the iPad in that picture. So that's essentially how to do it.